Well, fishing freaks, I know I give you a lot of early morning coffee intros, but this is probably the most epic one right here. Oh my gosh, the coffee so good, so fresh down here. It's almost like they just picked it right off the shoreline over here and brought it over the boat and ground it up. Let me tell you guys something. When you wake up in the Amazon jungle on the river and it's it's a surreal experience look at this i'm sitting here with all these boats it was it was weird to wake up and i was like rocking around on this boat and then i realized oh my gosh i'm in the amazon it was unbelievable so we drove all through the night eight hours right into the morning here i decided to get up and check out the sunrise it was gorgeous just before it rose into the clouds it's kind of cloudy here and it stormed a little bit last night it was a little rocky this is not the rainy season this is the dry season but we're still getting a little bit of of rains like not terrible rains but just kind of it's kind of this misty type stuff it's not too bad but hey, it's the rainforest. It could rain at any time. And we've still got a lot of time left on our journey to get to our first fishing spot. I've never drove this far to get to a fishing spot before in my life. So we'll probably get there around five o'clock this afternoon. And we're probably just gonna be doing tackle prep today and just kind of getting a game plan together with the guides. I'm very excited to learn from the fishing guides down here. There might be a language barrier because I don't speak Portuguese and they don't speak very good English. But one thing all fishermen understand is fish and passion for fishing. And already just talking to some of them and listening to them, they're so jacked up. This is their first time really going out and their first, their first guided trips of the year. So they're super pumped to see who's gonna get on the most fish, who's gonna find the best holes. And the fishing supposedly is gonna be really good because the water level's coming down and the fish are gonna be sucked out into pools and things like that. It's gonna make it easier. It's almost impossible when the water's high. We're just gonna sit down this morning and enjoy a nice big breakfast here on the Otter. And then we're gonna get a game plan together to go after these big peacocks this afternoon or early tomorrow morning. time right now since we've got this long boat ride it's middle of the day so we're getting everything ready right here we already got 
our favorite rods and reels ready to go. I got my man G right here. He is rigging up the terminal tackle. This is one of the uh, one of the nice things when you go on on Ron Speed's adventures. I've got all the terminal tackle ready to go, and they've got lures as well. So these big old wood choppers that are famous for working down here. They've got tons of them. They've actually got gigantic boxes of, of these things. And then we also brought some, some other baits. We've got some, some nice uh, JDM baits, some duo baits that we brought, uh, jerk baits, top waters. I brought some of my old bass lures I probably have never used because they're so gigantic, but I figured I might give them a shot down here. But the thing is, with these fish, they're so big, they're so strong, that you have to have good terminal tackle. Your split rings and your treble hooks have to be good. So almost like saltwater grade, if you think about fishing saltwater for big fish, those kind of hooks. So what we're doing right now is we're changing out the split rings to saltwater grade. Uh, we're changing the hooks out to saltwater grade so that when we hook into a big peacock bass, we won't have any issues. And Winston was telling me a story about the first time he ever went with the uh, fish in the top water, like a like a zero spoon, <clears throat> like this, something like this. So yeah. You fish like freshwater hooks. I didn't and get split the rings. Didn't get the memo. <laughs> and boom, boom, boom. It was only like an eight pound fish, but it comes up, shook real hard. I was fighting it. It was tearing line. Comes up, the bait comes flying at me. Normally, whenever that happens, they just spit out the bait. So I get ready to cast, and I look at the bait, and there's no hook. So. Yeah, they not only did they tear the hook out, see this is the difference yeah, on the grade of swivel and the grade of hook. So those fish are so strong, they will literally maybe not break the hook, but they will pull so hard that they pull the split ring straight and you and you lose the hook. That's crazy. So yeah. you had the fish that had all treble hooks in its mouth and you came back with just the lure. Just the lure, yeah. I still got it at the house. This is a little sassy Sammy. I like this bait a lot down here and it it was a lot like that one, the one that got stripped, but they're not going to pull this one out. If they do, um, it's a 30 pounder. Correct. It's a big fish. Yeah. So that's what we're dealing with, guys. I'm hearing all these stories from everybody. It's getting me super excited to get out there and get that first bite. I'm, I'm going to be so nervous and so amped up. It's going to be amazing. We are now arriving in Urukara. Urukara. And tomorrow we will move up to San Sebastian. I, have, I seriously have no idea what we're about to get into. That's part of the adventure. We're somehow gonna dock this gigantic boat here, over here on these banks. It sounds like they've got a little discoteca going on, a little party action. This is a big holiday in Brazil. This is their Independence Day week. I think they just take the whole week off and party, so who knows, it may be nuts up there. All the guide boats are deploying off the back right now, and they're gonna go get some fuel while we're up at this town. So then we can uh, have plenty of fuel when we're going exploring in the jungle. It's actually a holiday and they're shutting everything down to celebrate their, uh, their independence week. So we're going to take the small boats and we're gonna go out and see some wildlife. So I've, I got the big lens with me I'm gonna take. We're gonna to try to get some cool shots of some birds, maybe some other animals. There's crazy porpoises and dolphins that live in here. There's all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna see what we can find out there in the Amazon jungle waters. All right, my friend, what's your name? Uh, Irinaldo. 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 Alligator. 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 Gator. Cool, Gator. Yeah. Like your name. The man, the myth, the no, legend. No, no. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Uh, at least you want to see an alligator. It's himself or your guy. Yeah, <laughs> That's right. That's he got on teeth. The rest is. Let's go back in the seat. He's saying it's going to be rough up there, John. There's a floating gas station. The gator. Yeah! Famous! I'd like to see a floating Bucky's out here. That'd be something. <laughs> it's big enough to have a floating Bucky. This is, that'd be like a whole village. Okay, now we go? Yeah. Now we go. Okay, boom, boom, boom. 
Let's check out some wildlife. I'll be ducking at the camera. What is that? Just got up here. Okay. <laughs> well fish and freaks i hope you enjoyed today's edition wildlife edition of lake fork guy fishing tv it was a, an amazing experience on the amazon river out here in the otter uh, with uh, ron speed's adventures can't say enough about these guys i'm going to link them down below if you guys want to just check them out we haven't even got started in fishing yet but they accommodate to whatever you want to do if you want to go check out monkeys and toucans and all sorts of stuff animals in the in the jungle you can go do that if you want to go catch peacocks whatever you want to do that's pretty awesome so today's experience was something i'm going to remember for a long time i filmed my first monkey today fish freaks hit the like button for that and we're going to spend the night right here and in the morning manana we're going to go peacock bass fishing we're going to wake up early and go get after it and that is what i'm stoked the most about tonight we saw some peacock bass hitting the top of the water 
the energy was high life was full out here in the amazon i can't even tell you how many fish are swimming around down there so it's going to be amazing i can't wait come along for the adventure make sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure when the peacock bass are exploding and i'm going to sniff a peacock bass right in the face fishing freaks i'll see you on the next episode